In the olden days of video gaming, and by that we mean the 80s and 90s, trailers weren't really all that big of a deal. Though advertising has always been around in one form or another, it's only really since the turn of the millennium that we started to see games marketed with epic trailers. These days, a good trailer is key to generating hype for a game, and regardless of whether or not a title ends up being any good, it's hard to deny the excitement we all feel after watching a particularly well-crafted cinematic. Not all trailers are created equal, however, and over the years there have been some that are so spectacular they leave us covered in goosebumps. To be clear, we're purely here to judge the trailers, and though many of the games on this list did live up to expectations set by their advertising, not all of them are winners. I'm Ashton from Triple Jump, and here are 10 of the most breathtaking video game trailers. Number 10, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Killing Monsters Cinematic Trailer We're kicking off our list with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, a game that most people consider to be a masterpiece, so there's little wonder that its trailers were of the same high quality. Perhaps the best among them is the Killing Monsters cinematic, which debuted in 2013. Killing Monsters presents the inner turmoil of Geralt as he goes to collect a reward from a group of men about to hang a woman. His companion, Vesemir, tells him they should just take the coin and go, but that doesn't sit right with Geralt. As he reflects on the meaning of evil, he ultimately decides that he will not choose between one sort or another, before killing the men and setting the woman free. When the final man asks what he's doing, Geralt simply replies, Killing Monsters. Chills literal chills. The trailer is nothing short of epic, and the fact that it was able to perfectly sum up the character of Geralt and the spirit of the game in just two minutes is hugely impressive. Players were shown no sprawling world, no plot details and no gameplay, and yet they knew exactly what to expect from The Witcher 3. 9 out of 10, great trailer. Would have been 10 out of 10 if we got some bath, Geralt, but hey, we can't have it all. Number 9, Batman Arkham Knight, Father to Son Announcement Trailer Here's a spoiler alert for you, Bruce Wayne's parents are dead. I know, I know, I didn't want to be the one to break the news to you, but it's important context for the entry. Though it may not be the strongest of the Arkham series, Arkham Knight is still a pretty good game, and sees Batman facing off against a terrifying Scarecrow, who has ordered an evacuation of Gotham City to allow its greatest villains to unite. The announcement trailer for the game follows Batman as he prepares for this tough fight. He dons his suit in the Batcave, gets into his car and heads out into the night. Nothing too groundbreaking there. What makes it brilliant, however, is Thomas Wayne's monologue that plays throughout. Against the backdrop of violence, destruction and chaos, Thomas speaks of his regrets that he can't be there for his son Bruce, and asks that he do what he can to help Gotham and help it grow. He rounds off the speech by telling Bruce that in death he will love him forever, as we watch Batman embody everything Thomas Wayne wanted for his son. No, I'm not crying, you're crying. Number 8, Star Wars The Old Republic, Deceived Cinematic Trailer Although it's been over 10 years since Bioware and EA released Star Wars The Old Republic, the MMORPG is still going strong, with players logging on in their thousands each month to get a slice of the galactic action. Prior to the game's launch, the studios released not one, not two, but five cinematic trailers. Each one was masterfully crafted, but although Betrayed, Sacrifice, Return and Hope all have their strengths, it is Deceived that stands out as epic. Opening with a shot of the planet Coruscant and a single NR2 gully jumper, the trailer depicts the sacking of Coruscant over 3,000 years before the destruction of the first Death Star. The tension is slowly built as Darth Malgus and his escort Alina Daru approach the Jedi Temple. They quickly dispatch the guards and proceed inside, where they are immediately surrounded by Jedi. Things aren't looking great for the Sith Lord, but not to worry, because remember that NR2 gully jumper we mentioned? Well, it's full of Sith warriors and it's about to crash into the temple. Cue John Williams' goosebump inducing score, tons of Jedi murder and our jaws hitting the floor as a whole bunch of Sith warships loom overhead. Number 7, Final Fantasy VII Remake Cinematic Trailer E3 2015 
When Final Fantasy VII was released in 1997, it became an instant classic. Critics loved it, players loved it, and it is frequently cited as one of the best games of all time. As the years went by, however, fans began calling for a remake, and though it was announced for the PlayStation 2, nothing ever came of it. Rumours circulated for years afterwards, and fans continued to push for a remake, but it wasn't until 2015 that they finally got the official announcement. Final Fantasy VII was being reworked from the ground up, and it was coming to PS4. If you've no knowledge of everything that came before it, the E3 trailer for Final Fantasy VII Remake doesn't look all that special. The whole thing consists of a handful of very nicely rendered shots of a city, some dude spouting vague stuff about bad times of the past, and a pointy haired bloke with a big sword. But these simple images had fans screaming with joy and leaping out of their seats, because it wasn't just a bunch of elements slapped together to sell a game, it was the culmination of years of waiting. It wasn't just a trailer for Final Fantasy fans, it was a dream come true. Number 6, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wilds, Cinematic Trailer E3 2016 The Legend of Zelda series has evolved an awful lot in the years since the first game hit our consoles in 1986, and Nintendo has always been keen to bring new elements to the beloved franchise. Prior to Breath of the Wild, the Zelda franchise had never ventured into open world territory, so when the game's cinematic trailer was unveiled at E3 2016, it sent players into a frenzy. If there was one thing to take away from Breath of the Wild's E3 spot, it was just how huge the game aimed to be. Set to relaxing music, the cinematic takes the audience on a journey across Hyrule, from grassy meadows bathed in sunlight to snow-covered mountains that are just begging to be scattered. The trailer does showcase some of the game's enemies, its combat, and Link's powers, but none of it is done at the expense of demonstrating Breath of the Wild's sheer scale. In just three short minutes, they were able to bring fans into a beautiful world, introduce them to many of the gameplay elements, and give a nod to the game's big bad. In short, Nintendo were working on a masterpiece, and they very much wanted their audience to know about it. Number 5, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Cinematic Trailer E3 2014 We all know that Hideo Kojima likes to make a splash, so it's little wonder that he took it upon himself to direct the cinematic trailer for Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Though several trailers had already been released for The Phantom Pain prior to its appearance at E3 2014, and fans were already incredibly excited for the game, the cinematic showcased a huge amount of detail in its 5 minute runtime, unveiling additional plot details about Snake's antagonistic descent. On a cursory glance, the trailer seems to consist of nothing more than a load of pre-rendered scenes cut together. And with a different song as its soundtrack, that might have been all it was. The use of Mike Oldfield's nuclear, however, makes the entire experience spine chilling. According to his Twitter, Kojima heard the song after coming across Oldfield's album in a music store, and it ended up blossoming into an idea for the trailer. The fact that Kojima is able to take a few cutscenes, splice them together with a bit of rock music, and still end up with a masterpiece is a testament to the man's genius. And re-watching the trailer, even though it's been several years since its release, still gives us the tingles. Number 4, Halo 3 – Believe Cinematic Trailer You don't always have to make a trailer flashy and action-packed in order for it to be effective, and nothing proves that point quite as well as the Believe cinematic for Halo 3. The Halo series is noted for its action-packed gameplay, and so the choice to promote Halo 3 with motionless figurines and somber piano music was a bold one to say the least. For weeks, the crew behind the campaign constructed a 1200 square foot diorama that depicted a battle between humans and their covenant adversaries. When combined with some very clever camera work and just a dash of digital effects, the result was nothing short of jaw-dropping. As the camera tracks through the still figurines, it captures a snapshot of the war in all of its horrific glory. As soldiers scrabble for their weapons, run from explosions and cower in fear, the whole scenario seems quite… hopeless. The final shot zooms in on Master Chief, apparently incapacitated at the hands of a brute. Just as it seems like all is lost, the plasma grenade in his hand begins to glow, and he slowly looks up at the camera. With just the tiniest movement, the audience's faith is restored. You might even go as far to say, we all believed. 
Number 3, Cyberpunk 2077 Cinematic Trailer, E3 2019. Well, if there's one thing you can say about CD Projekt, it's that they sure know how to handle a cinematic trailer. These days, Cyberpunk 2077 is best known for its absolutely catastrophic launch, but prior to its 2020 release, it was one of the most highly anticipated video games in recent memory, and part of the reason for that was undoubtedly its trailers. In particular, Cyberpunk's 2019 E3 cinematic had gamers hyped beyond belief. The world had already seen two trailers for the game by this point, and everyone was incredibly excited for the game's release, but the anticipation went into overdrive after E3 2019. The trailer's opening shot introduces audiences to the sprawling metropolis of Night City, a place which, at a glance, looks perfectly reasonable. Quickly though, we're transported into its seedy underbelly in a cab riddled with bullets. In just four short minutes, the 2019 cinematic is able to introduce players to protagonist V, give them a feel of their character, and paint a picture of a world where cybernetic augmentations are as common as tattoos, and in which no one is to be trusted. Oh, and that first look at Keanu Reeves with Johnny Silverhand? There are no words. Number 2, Mass Effect 3, Take Earth Back Cinematic Trailer well, 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 if it isn't Bioware back at it again with another magnificent trailer. When it came to trailers of the Mass Effect trilogy, we were spoiled for choice. We must give an honorary mention to the Mass Effect 2 launch trailer, which literally had us screaming at our screens as we were forced to watch Shepard suffocate in the void of space. Traumatising. As good as it is though, it's still not a patch on the Take Earth Back trailer of Mass Effect 3. The three minute cinematic opens with a little girl playing with a toy spaceship in a field of sunflowers. As she chases a ladybird, the scene cuts to the Reaper invasion and the death and destruction that ensues. That's fine though, because the invasion is miles away from our little friend and her sunflowers, right? Right? Well, sadly not, as when we rejoin her, a number of Reaper ships are hovering overhead. They could have left it there, we were already plenty horrified. But no, the scene fades to black, and in the next, Commander Shepard is picking up the girl's toy ship out of the ashes of the field. Let's be honest, the Mass Effect 3 trailer didn't need to go that hard, audiences were already hyped for its release anyway, but it did go hard, and even rewatching it a decade on, we still get goosebumps. And number one, Dead Island, official announcement trailer. There are numerous examples out there of titles that don't live up to the hype of their trailers, and although Dead Island ended up with a fairly respectable score of 80 on Metacritic, the game as a whole wasn't a patch on its official announcement trailer. The trailer debuted on February 16th, 2011, and immediately got the world's attention. It tells the story of a family caught in the midst of a zombie outbreak whilst on holiday. Rather than simply playing out chronologically, however, the action takes place in reverse opening with the lifeless body of a small girl and taking the audience backwards through how she got there. The teams behind the trailer also presented large chunks of it in slow motion so that the audience would focus less on the graphic violence and more on the story they were trying to tell. The chaotic nature of the events is also juxtaposed in stunning fashion by the trailer's music, and the sombre melancholy piano piece works in beautiful contrast to the horror unfolding on the screen. Although the trailer shows nothing in the way of gameplay footage, what it did was set Dead Island apart from other games in the genre by tugging on the audience's heartstrings through the use of its very human story.